This is the story of the black hole. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. Let's begin now. The explorer ship USS Palomino was speeding home toward Earth. Her weary crew had spent many months in space, searching for planets where humans could live. Although their mission was over, their greatest adventure was about to begin. As the crew went about its duties, the image of a gigantic black whirlpool began to form on the scanner screen. Dr. Kate McRae watched in amazement. What incredible power. It's swallowing comets, planets, even stars. A black hole, exclaimed Vincent, the ship's robot. The deadliest force in the universe. Nothing can escape it. Charlie, the youngest crew member, had another surprise. Captain Holland, there's a ship sitting motionless on the edge of the black hole. It's not being sucked in. According to the computer, it's the USS Cygnus. But that's impossible. The Cygnus disappeared 20 years ago. And how could any ship defy the force of a black hole? All right, crew, let's go down and have a look, ordered the captain. Charlie, prepare to dock with the Cygnus. As the Palomino found the docking platform and gently landed, Kate looked out the viewport. I thought I saw something move. There are people on board. The airlock opened, and the captain cautiously led his crew aboard the mysterious ship. Don't take any chances. We don't know who or what to expect. I quite agree, Captain, added Vincent. Better safe than sorry. The captain led the way as they explored the vast, empty hallways. No signs of life anywhere. Let's try the control tower. I want to see who's running this ship. An elevator whisked them to the top level. The door opened to reveal a tremendous room full of computers. Kate looked around. Something's not right. There's no one here but robots. I don't much like the company of robots myself, sniffed Vincent. Just then, the crew looked up to see a red mechanical monster hovering above them. His sight panel glowed angrily as he advanced toward them. Vincent moved to protect his friends. The dangerous red robot drew closer. A voice boomed from the shadows. Maximilian, stop. There is no way to welcome guests. A bearded man stepped into the light. I am Dr. Reinhardt, captain of the Cygnus. It's nice to have visitors after being alone for so long. Alone? Asked Charlie. What about your crew? They left in emergency shuttles when the Cygnus was disabled by a meteor storm. I remained on board, developed this robot crew, and continued my research on the black hole. But how do you keep from being pulled into the deadly whirlpool? Asked the captain. I developed anti-gravity forces to hold my position. We are perfectly safe. Come, let me show you around. Exploring on his own, Vincent met a battered robot named Old Bob, who whispered an urgent warning. Reinhardt lied about his crew. They're still here running the ship. He turned them into robots, and the same could happen to your friends. Come on, shouted Vincent. We must warn them. After hearing Old Bob's story, Kate was shocked. Why would Reinhardt do such a thing? He's obsessed with the idea of going into the black hole. When the crew wanted to go home, he electronically took control of their minds in his laboratory. We've got to get out of here, warned the captain. 